Alright, what's up everybody? This is BJ at BJ Premium Detailing and I'm back with another video. Um, and this topic has been weighing on me uh, very hard now. Um, and this topic is uh, learning when to say no. Learning when to say no. And uh, the reason it's been weighing on me is because as a detailing company, as a detailing individual, um, as somebody starting off detailing, um, even those who are what we consider experts, um, learning when to say no um, needs to become your best friend. And uh, the reason I say it needs to become your best friend is because uh, when you're first starting off, and you're trying to build your client base, you're trying to take anything that you can get. Um, it seems like a lot of opportunities are knocking at you. Uh, people might call you for mo. Um, they might call you to remove or to clean up throw up. Um, you know, whatever the case may be, the dog peed in the vehicle. Um, you know, kids threw up, whatever the case may be. Um, and your gut instinct is saying, okay, yeah, go ahead and take that. You know, go ahead and do it. Learn how to do it. Um, so you'll know how to do it in the future. Um, oh, yeah, marijuana too. Marijuana smoke, smoke removal, all that stuff. Um, odor removal. But me, uh, being a business owner, been in the business now, officially licensed and assured for two years. Um, yeah, I, I was saying yes to everything at first um, because you know, I, of course, you you know, you need money to buy uh, to buy more products, more inventory for your business. You know, whether it's microfiber towels or you know, of course, you know, you have to pay bills, personal um, and business bills. Um, so you know, you might need that detail to help cover some of those expenses. Um, but you will surely see as you start detailing. Um, you need to say no to some things. You need to learn <laughs> how to say no to some of those details that are, uh, uh, or some of those clients that are trying to have you do those things that you're not qualified for or that you don't want to do. Um, and there, there, there's a lot of details that you just need to say, Hey, um, I'm not trained in that field, and I do not feel 100% uh, comfortable um, with, you know, trying to perform the detail that the client is asking you to do. Um, so if you learn how to say no early, um, you know, you won't be in those troubles, troubles later on because then, uh, for example, say 10 smoke removals come your way and five clients say, hey, he did a phenomenal job and five say you didn't. Now that's going to have you questioning um, your process. That's going to have you questioning do you want to do those type of details? That's going to have you questioning do you want to put your, if you're a five-star business, um, ask myself, do you want to put your Google ratings? Um, you want to put that on the line because people will leave nasty reviews um, on all social media. They'll, they'll, they'll stalk your pages. Uh, they'll leave one on Google. Leave one on, on Yelp. Leave one on Facebook. Uh, Instagram. If you post videos on there. YouTube. Um, if you post videos on there. Uh, so, you know, you did five great jobs and then five people said, eh, it's still there or, you know, um, I still smell it. I don't think he cleaned it good enough. He or she cleaned it good enough. Uh, so I'm going to leave you a negative rating. Um, you know, that can do something to your business and that can do something to you personally if you are a five-star business um, that, you know, that's striving to do the best you can. Um, whether you're a five-star or not, um, it will play with your head to keep seeing um or to, to see a negative review or to keep seeing negative reviews on your social media platforms, Google, Yelp, and all that stuff. Um, 
So if you learn off, if you learn earlier, hey, I just want to perform the basic cleans, um, be clean, maintenance clean um, on people's vehicle. Just stick to that. Just stick to that. Do not try to do anything more, anything less. Just stick to what you feel comfortable with doing. Just because, um, just making up a name, Bob Detailing, um want to offer all those packages. Uh, they may have people in place that are trained to do those. If you are an individual, um, or even if you have two or three people and you guys aren't trained to do that, um, just don't do it. I'm not saying do not learn how to do those things. I'm saying don't do it if you don't feel 100% um, sure that you can do those details down to the T. Um, and that's one thing that I'm learning. Um, and me personally, I have to take all that stuff off my website because um, I do not want to do uh, the, the smoke removals, the, the vomit removals, um, the odor removals because as I'm seeing along the way that every client is going to see, they're going to smell, and they're, 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 they're just different. Every client is different. Every client is different. Uh, so then I'm, I'm starting to realize that now some clients uh, just want their vehicle deep clean. Some people want it to, to, uh, to have it deep clean and to smell new again. Um, so, so, so with that being said, those questions have to be bought up um, with giving a quote. Hey, are you um, allergic to anything um, so you can stay away from those products? Are you... Um, are you sensitive sensitive to, to any type of fragrance, any type of cleaning, uh, cleaner um, that you may use uh, for detailing? Um, you know, um, are you going to smoke in your vehicle after I do the the, the deep uh, the deep clean with the odor removal? Um, and if they say yeah, okay, so there's no point for you to remove the odor. So you me learning as a business owner ask those questions um, right off the back you know get all the information you need right off the back um, I just had an incident with a lady who um, didn't want any fragrance in the vehicle and the vehicle had fragrance already in the vehicle um, and she and she wants the fragrance smell removed so I went ahead and did everything she said uh, she told me to use vinegar um, and uh, water 50 50 and I did that and she said the smell is even stronger now um, so then I put the ozone in there and she said I still smell the ozone and as I explained to her what the ozone is to kill the odors of the bacteria in your vehicle um, so there's no way you should still be smelling any type of ozone uh, two weeks later uh, so now I'm just starting to realize Hey, I just want to deep clean the vehicles, and if they want it to smell good, um, you know, if they want me to spray a little bit of Febreze on the vehicle, spray a little bit of Febreze. If they want me to um, put the little um, uh, odor bombs that disinfect your vehicle and leave a nice little scent in your vehicle um, after I'm done deep cleaning, do that too. Um, but I'm realizing, hey, I just want to keep it basic. I just want to do the deep cleans. Um, Buffing and polishing, trim and coatings, um, all this stuff is fun too as well. Um, especially when you wash the car, you see, it, you know, you see, you see the reactions of the bees and the water um, after you got done trim and coating it. But just stay in your lane. If you're just now start starting out, just stay in your lane. Do not try to offer 50 million packages uh, because you want to compete with such and such company. Um, just just don't do it. Just stay in your lane. Uh, because at the end of the day, those people put in years to learn how to do, do those things. And, and if you're just now starting out, you don't have any years of experience in doing those things. So why jeopardize your name and your business um, trying to do something that you can't do? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get on here and make a quick little video. Um, learn when to say no. Learn when to say no. Um, you know, at first, like I said before, you want to accept everything, but learn when to say no. Hey, I'm not trained in doing that. I'm not trained in buffing. I'm not trained in, in uh, swimming coatings. I'm not trained in the uh, 
in the area that you're asking me to do, you know, not the area, but the, uh, I'm not qualified to do, to perform the duties that you want me to perform on your vehicle. It's that simple. It is that simple. So, um, I hope you guys got something out of this video. Um, I'm starting my day pretty late. Um, but this is an elderly, not elderly, she's, uh, she's up there in age, but, um, it's one of my favorite clients that I could not do to, to the, uh, could not bring her vehicle to the shop. Um, she doesn't really get out as much, so I'm about to go take care of her. Um, but yeah, but be blessed. Um, and if you have any questions, have any concerns, uh, or, or anything, if you have anything that you want to ask, uh, leave that in the comment below. Um, but yeah, just learn when to say no. Learn when to say no. I'm not saying say no to everything. Of course, you want to try everything. You want to try the wrap removals. I have been tested and tried with everything. I know you want to try the uh, the smoke vehicles, uh, the vehicles that uh, got a lot of mold and mildew. I know you want to try all that stuff right off the back, but just learn when to say no. So, all right, you guys. Pulling up to the client house now. I'm excited to get my day started. Um, it's a little late, but we're about to get the day started. And uh, yeah, like I said before, if you got any questions, comments, concerns, um, if you want to learn how to do some, leave those in the comment uh, below. Uh, if you haven't already, like and subscribe to our channel. Uh, and if you live in the Kansas City area, uh, we'd love for you guys to book with us. And uh, yeah, that's about it. I'm excited. Uh, I'm learning, like I said, I'm learning as my business goes on. I'm learning to just say no, do what you feel comfortable with doing, and be honest with yourself. Do you really want to do the dirty vehicles all the time, or do you want to do the ones that are, are somewhat clean and just need a little touch up? You have to decide that early. Um, and that will help you so much in your business. So be blessed, and uh, like and subscribe and share this video. Alright you guys, I am out. Peace.